ready for Gears of War, Age of Empires. Fight it out in Quake 4 and Counter Strike. Experience the latest in gaming technology at the biggest gaming event. Xbox 360 presents for 2007. Powered by Intel at Pragati Madan from 26 January to 28 January 2007. Radio partner, Radio 1 FM 94.3. मुंबई और बेंगलोर पहुंचाने के बाद भारत की पहली साइबर गेम प्रदर्शनी रोड 2007 राजधानी आरगति मैदान में चल रही इस प्रदर्शनी में भारी लोग पहुंचे और साइबर गेम्स कर लुत्फ उठाया साइबर गेम्स का क्रेज दिल्ली के युवाओं में किस कदर है इसका एक नमूना प्रगति मैदान में लगी इस प्रदर्शनी में देख पूरी राजधानी गणतंत्र दिवस के जश्न में डूबी जगह जगह रोड डाइवर्जन और ट्रैफिक ब्लॉकेट थे बावजूद इस में लोग प्रदर्शनी में पहुंचे ओवरऑल रिस्पांस बहुत अच्छा है एक्चुअली द पीपल वी वर लुकिंग फॉर द फ्रॉम टडीम टू लाइफ देयर आर कमिंग दे मतलब जो क्राउड है वो अच्छा है और मुझे लगता है कि तीन दिन आज 26 जनवरी की वजह से थोड़ा क्राउड कम है बट आगे सैटरडे की वजह से क्राउड विल इंक्रीज मोर एंड मोर ये प्रदर्शनी कई मायनों में राजधानी वालों के लिए एक नया अनुभव है कोई नीड फॉर स्पीड में मगन दिखा कॉन्ट्रा के युद्ध कौशल पर फिदा डेड एंड अलाइव में तो आतंकवाद से सीधे सीधे मुकाबला है ऐसे में भला रोमांचित नहीं होगा ये भी पॉपुलर नहीं है इसलिए ये काफी अच्छा रहा हमें ले और स्पेशली जो यहाँ पे हमें हार्डवेयर मिल रहा है यहाँ पे इट्स चीप है प्लस वेराइटी है यहाँ पे काफी सारी और Planning to buy Microsoft mouse from here, and uh, attraction. Just as we all know, fanatic team here. That's the best part. This exhibition is very good. It's special that there are good games and more about the latest technology. It's about 26 to 28 January. In the exhibition, there are thousands of games. Here, for the young people, there are also interests. Also, the chance to play new games is there. In the exhibition, there are also accessories in the exhibition. के लिए फिर घर ले जाइए हुनर के साथ गेम के कल से भी पायल सिंह दिल्ली आज तक वेल व्हाट्स बेटर देन अ गुड गेम ऑफ क्रिकेट ऑन अ वार्म विंटर आफ्टरनून इन दिल्ली ऑफ कोर्स इफ यू वन ऑफ दोस हु लव द गेम बट डोंट रियली वांट टू स्वेट फियर नॉट फॉर देर आर अल्टरनेटिव And the alternative is really a no-brainer. Plonk yourself in front of a high-end PC, load a game of cricket and even the average joke and live those dhoni dreams. But it's rather boring playing all by yourself. So, next step, online and LAN gaming. From the comforts of your home, you can play commando with your friends, in fact, even with someone across the seven seas. Now, it's a serious sport here at SCORE, a gaming fest in the capital. So whether it's cricket or the latest action-packed war game, the teams are clearly divided and the battle lines couldn't be sharper. Which really brings me to ask a fundamental question. If you have to get 10 people to enjoy an online game, wouldn't it be better to just go outside, play and benefit from the physical exercise? When you go out, you have to like make a lot of effort. You have to play in the cold, in the hot weather. Play with your friends online, you can sit in your home, you, you, you feel more comfortable. The prospect of playing with someone who's living halfway across the world is certainly very appealing. That coupled with the fact that Delhi is going to get amazingly hot in a couple of days suddenly makes this couch seem so comfortable. Online gaming is definitely the next big thing. Vasudevan Rangarajan, Delhi for Action City. <laughs> ये प्रदर्शनी कई मायनों में दिल्ली वालों के लिए एक नया अनुभव है 28 जनवरी तक चलने वाली इस प्रदर्शनी में हजारों गेम्स हैं या युवाओं के लिए उनकी दिलचस्पी के खेल तो हैं ही साथ ही नए गेम्स की जानकारी लेने का मौका भी है प्रदर्शनी में एक्सेसरीज भी उपलब्ध हैं। ये प्रदर्शनी इससे पहले मुंबई और बैंगलोर में भी लग चुकी है Hello and welcome to Gear Up and Game On. I'm Denzel and that's exactly what you're supposed to do. Pick up your joysticks because all I'm going to do is take you on a ride 
which is totally virtual. We start off with what SCORE is all about. Well, SCORE is a gaming expo. It's one of the biggest in India and it's currently on in Delhi. So let's have a look what fair we have on at SCORE. There is a need for speed in everyone's life. That's what has turned gaming from a mere speck on the horizon to a race in the fast lane. And at the ongoing Gaming Expo 2007, score that is on show. Score 2007 has brought together the creme de la creme of game publishers, game developers, gaming and hardware companies. The who's who of the gaming industry is here from the biggie in console gaming Xbox with the latest baby the 360 to the reliance-backed online gaming championship that brought to the expo the world's number one counter-strike gaming team fanatic to play live an event that had the crowds roaring to the big online game publishers like jasubhai and the bangalore based k2 network who launches games online the USP of this fair. Everyone big and small can get their hands on a console and a joystick to fight, race and outmaneuver opponents that range from CPUs to online enemies from far away. So it's Counter-Strike to Half-Life to Need to Speed to F1. It's all there for you to get your hands on first hand. For Denzel O'Connor, Vibha Sharma, Srivastav, Delhi headlines today. What a virtual world this is. You get up, you're on a beach, you want to go online? You want a game? Well, all you need to do is log on. You can be anywhere in the world. It's a virtual world. So you have three, four thousand, five thousand players who could be playing with you all at one time. You could be doing a war. You could be doing a car race. You could be even fighting them knights. You could be even role playing. That's what it's all about. Massively multiplayer online games is basically where you have hundreds of thousands of people interacting with each other, socializing with each other, and playing with each other in any type of game, whether it's fantasy, golf, sports, or what have you not. And this is a phenomenon catching around all around the world, and people like to play with each other. This is our game called Night Online. And here we are in a zone where each live person is one of these characters. So I can interact with this person, this person, this person, this person, and they're playing from all around the world, be it Turkey, India, Japan, Korea. And I can chat with these people. Here's the chat bar. And then I can form my own teams and compete. And the purpose of this game is to battle. There are two sides and people will join the human side or the monster side. And whichever side wins, they continue on. It really is a war out there, and how is a war played? With the help of a game, let's find out. Let me log in. You log into our server. So we have got 10 different servers. Each server has got like three sub-servers, and each sub-server has got minimum like 3,000 players in it. So overall we have got like almost 36, 37 thousand players online at uh, any point in time of the day. I am a human and just log in with my character. We are attacking the oppos opponent nation. So I am going to the war right now. Actually it's an endless game uh, wherein uh, you will get to level your character from 1 to level 80. It will take quite a long time but still you will enjoy the gameplay. Well, it's hot and it's happening and it happens 24-7 all over the world. Gaming never stops and the big thing is online. So how big is it? If the writing were on the wall, it would be called unstoppable. At India's biggest gaming expo, we have the publisher of, uh, we have the biggest publishers of online gaming in India. Malik Jastubhai with us and what better to talk to him about the future of gaming in India. Malik, welcome to Headlines today. First of all, tell me, where do you see interactive gaming going in India? 
Well, interactive gaming, as you are hearing from all over, from Zapak to Reliance to uh, all all publishers, the gaming is getting a lot of press now. Our perspective at Just by Digital Media has been gaming has always been around. I mean, we've been publishing Score magazine for past six years, and we think over the next six years, this is going to explode to a massive proportion like the ones we have never seen. What about multiplayer what multiplayer gaming? Do you see India as a destination for that? We see that a lot more popular with people here now. See, gaming is going to be driven by three factors. Number one, disposable incomes. Number two, broadband penetration. And number three, societal changes where we don't consider gaming as a waste of time. And all three are happening. We are seeing disposable incomes grow massively. We are seeing broadband penetration increasing dramatically. And we are seeing that gaming is no longer considered for losers. It is considered, it's hip and happening. All right, Malik, tell me, you brought up an interesting point that gaming is a kind of a waste of time seen, uh, seen upon as most people in India. Is, is it difficult to sell gaming in India? It's never difficult to sell gaming because the people who are going to buy the games and play the games online, they are passionate about it. The point is, it will never, ex unless we will re reach a situation where people say, hey, gaming is fine because, you know, it helps you solve problems. It helps you interact better. It helps you create an imaginative aspect of which, it, which you cannot explore. Then it will become mass market. Today, the gamers are really very passionate in India. I mean, today, our personal belief is there are about 50,000 hardcore gamers in this country. And we are going to see those hardcore gamers grow double over the next two years. But more importantly, the casual gamers, that is going to expand massively. Alright, does it help if you associate gaming with a theme, let's say cricket? Does it uh, help in the popularity or help more people associate uh, with it? You know, yes and no. Of course, one of the biggest gaming uh, titles anywhere in the world is uh, Madden's NFL Football which is a huge American sport. So anytime you take a national sport and create an online version of it, it will expand the market significantly, no questions about it. There is no one particular game which has uh, gained the massive acceptance, but that is beginning to happen with console gaming being introduced in India very aggressively with Xbox and eventually with PlayStation. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you. Well, that was one of the biggest publishers of online gaming telling us that gaming really is just all about passion. The Bashar Mashavastav, Delhi, headlines today. It's hot, it's happening. Sometimes you don't even need to take a break. Some players play for a whole day without actually getting off the computer. But as for me, I'm going to take a break. But if you think the action's over, it's not. So what you need to do is stay at your console, stay clued, and I'll be back. Well, they might not have a Mercedes McLaren here, but there are a whole lot of competitions. So all you need to do is gear up, hold the joystick and take off and you can be in a race anywhere. It could be Daytona, it could be Paris or it could be Rome for an F1 Formula race. Let's go racing. The Expo had more competition per square feet than has been seen in a long time. The arena was flooded with gamers in all shapes and sizes, all of them trying their hand at the joystick in a bid to become a winner. And lending a helping hand with the hardware were the biggies like Microsoft with its Xbox terminals where games were being played and matches fought against the computer. Mostly every corner was hot with gaming action but the biggest crowd was at the Reliance World End where the Gamebox National Championships 2007, the biggest online gaming championship were being held live and on hand were the world champions of the game Counter-Strike to fight the Indian champions. I, I played this game for six years now and uh, before tournaments we can play eight, ten hours. Before the biggest tournament in the States, we lived together for, uh, for five weeks in a flat in Gothenburg, Sweden. So you can say that we train a lot before competitions. The games in championship include Half-Life 2, Deathmatch, Need for Speed and Warcraft 3. The championship is at four levels and will conclude in Delhi on Sunday with the winner getting a prize of 10 lakh rupees. For most of these games, the kind of games that we have, which we have game, hai, these are CD-based real life like games. These games are taking 2-3 years to make them. They have investments of about 50 million dollars. So what we do is, we get all the top game publishers to come to our Reliance world and that's what we, how we integrate with the world. 
The games may be on in a virtual environment, but the like in the real world, the best player wins, only he with the fastest fingers has the advantage. With Denzel O'Connell, Vipashar Mashevastav, Delhi headlines today. The year is 2007, so what's out? The war game is out. What else is out? Well, the whole car race is out. But what is in is action from the cricket field. And it's there that the latest gaming is happening. There are a whole lot of people who are coming into this green just to score another century. You know, you can't really play cricket all the time. Sometimes it's raining, sometimes it's too hot, sometimes it's too cold. So what do you do? You just go online and play cricket. And the cricket fever was on at the gaming expo stalls. The expo had budding online cricketers batting, bowling and fielding their own teams to a victory. Online cricket games are the latest fad in the game sphere in India. Across the country, the upwardly mobile and online savvy are taking the cricket pitch and who better to develop an online version of the game than Krish Srikant's son. This, this, this is basically our other game which is called Pro Cricket Challenge. And you know, this is a game where you, you have stars on your side and where you build your own side. It's made up of legends. Obviously, we're not putting the right name there, but then, you know, people can make out which player it is. And you, you, you're given a set target where, you know, you've got to get a target of 101 runs. It's more of 15 levels in it. So you cross each level and then you try to go on from there. The company is developing a game for the World Cup too, besides a mobile game for the cell phone gamer. And the effort doesn't stop here. Games like the Krish Cricket Challenge take the player right into the game. A player can select his team, his opponent team, batting and bowling order, the fielding positions, the line and length of bowling and so on. And the demand is growing so fast that the biggies too, like Microsoft's Xbox 360, are coming up with their full feature online multiplayer cricket game. With Denzel O'Connell, Vipashar Mashivastav, Delhi headlines today. Well, from now on, what's the motto? It's gear up and game on. And as for me, I'm getting back to the game and I hope you guys too. So it's, ladies and gentlemen, on to your consoles. Gaming enthusiasts from across the country and from even as far away as Sweden took part in the gaming exhibition held in the capital this weekend. And it wasn't just amateurs, mind you, the pros were here too. Urvashi Sibyl has this story. Concentrate. Work some magic with your fingers and you're all set for gaming fun. Start with the game that, that you feel is really funny because if you don't feel that it's very funny then you will never be good at it. Funny? Maybe not. But it's sure a lot of fun especially when you happen to be among the world's top seats in gaming like Club Fanatic. World Counter-Strike champs from Sweden in Delhi to compete with India's best who readily handing out some gaming leads at SCORE, a gaming expo in the capital. So you need to be able to get in the, the right positions to be one step ahead of your opponents all time. If that seems like a lot of effort, you could simply... You watch a lot of demos, watch good players play and you'll pick up a lot of good things. Serious gamers like Fanatics are usually found in their teens. But it's never too early to get hooked. All you need to do is... 8, 4, 6 to the one. With the World Cup round the corner, it's time for gamers to swing into action with multiplayer and fantasy cricket. This is going to be on a tournament format where people can be sitting in different parts of the world and compete on the Cyber World Cup. Whether it's the veterans Counter-Strike or the beginners Road Rash, the same rules apply. Finish the enemies. Except that you don't get killed here. So get hold of an enemy and head for the gaming consoles for a virtual fight until death. In New Delhi, Urvashi Sibyl. अगर आपको ऑनलाइन गेमिंग का शौक है तो ये मत समझिए कि आप अपना वक्त बर्बाद कर रहे हैं गेमिंग चैंपियनशिप में हिस्सा लेकर आप लाखों रुपए का इनाम जीत सकते हैं दिल्ली में अभिजीत द्विवेदी एक ऐसी गेमिंग चैंपियनशिप का फाइनल देखने पहुंचे जिसमें 100-200 नहीं ग्यारह हजार गेमर्स ने हिस्सा लिया
नेशनल चैंपियनशिप गेम बॉक्स में उंगलियों का जादू दिखाती यह है मुंबई की टीम ए 104 शहरों के करीब 240 रिलायंस वर्ल्ड में आयोजित इस चैंपियनशिप का फाइनल हुआ दिल्ली के प्रगति मैदान में फाइनल में बाजी मुंबई के हाथ लगी दिल्ली टीम को हराने वाली इस टीम को इनाम में मिले दो लाख रूपए हम लोग की ये जो टीम है तो खाली नौ महीने ऐसी सात में खेल रहे हैं हम लोग हम लोग कई जगहों पे इंडिया को रिप्रेजेंट कर चुके हैं चाइना इटली इस चैंपियनशिप में काउंटर स्ट्राइक हाफ लाइफ डेथ मैच नीट फॉर स्पीड और वॉरक्राफ्ट जैसे गेम्स में मुकाबला हुआ विजेता टीम ने काउंटर स्ट्राइक की दुनिया की नंबर एक टीम स्वीडन की फनेटिक से भी मुकाबला किया स्वीडन के महारथियों ने नए गेमर्स को कुछ टिप्स भी दिए दुनिया भर में ऑनलाइन गेमिंग का बाजार तेजी से बढ़ रहा है भारत में ऑनलाइन गेमिंग बाजार साल भर में 200 करोड़ रुपए से बढ़कर 1200 करोड़ रुपए तक पहुंच गया है इसे देखते हुए कंपनियां भी नई नई योजनाओं पर काम कर रही हैं। एंटरटेनमेंट में फ्यूचर बकायदा है गेमिंग इज सिक्स अभी हम सिर्फ सात सिटीज में प्रेजेंट है और अगले आने वाले साल में हम इसको एक्सपैंड करेंगे आज हमारे चालीस टाइटल है कल को ये टाइटल्स अगले महीने तक साठ हो जाएंगे और अगले दो महीने में आने वाले सौ या डेढ़ सौ तक पहुंच जाएंगे रिलायंस वर्ल्ड पिछले तीन साल से ये चैंपियनशिप करा रहा है और हर साल इसमें हिस्सा लेने वाले गेमर्स बढ़ते जा रहे हैं कंपनी को उम्मीद है कि अगले साल इस चैंपियनशिप में गेमर्स की गिनती में कम से कम दुगने का इजाफा होगा अभिजीत द्विवेदी दिल्ली